This is an, actually an interesting thing. Does this make it less certain that we're going to pass some kind of uh, debt ceiling raise to stave off a U.S. default uh, heading into the next few months? Uh, well, Lisa, it definitely makes it uh, something that won't happen until the very end of the month, which would get us right up, uh, up until that deadline. Uh, originally, it sounded like the White House wanted to pair both the uh, the Harvey aid along with the debt ceiling uh, money and, and have that happen pretty quickly early uh, in, in the month so that the deadline uh, didn't come upon us and, uh, and we didn't risk the... Uh, uh, basically risk uh, defaulting on our debt and, uh, uh, for the first time in, in U.S. history. Now it seems like uh, the House wants to wait uh, past the, the, Harvey fund, the Harvey aid on its own and then potentially uh, deal with the debt ceiling later at the end of the month, which would get us uh, staring at that deadline yeah. and potentially uh, getting to a place uh, of default. Tulu, this surprises me. It seemed like a political victory and a no-brainer to kind of go through with this kind of thing. A political cover, if you will, for the uh, conservative wing of the GOP party. What happened? Why did the uh, original plan fall apart? Well, you have to remember that uh, House Republicans have been waiting for the moment where they have a Republican uh, president in the White House, a Republican House, and a Republican Senate, using that opportunity to rein in some of the spending. Even if they have to lift the, the, the debt ceiling, they want to pair it with uh, spending cuts or spending reforms. The idea of uh, having a clean debt ceiling lift is not something that House Republicans uh, are in favor of. They, they went along with it when President Obama was in office because they had a Democrat in the White House. Now that there is a Republican in the White House, they believe that there should be those, uh, those, re those spending reforms, uh, and they're looking at that $20 trillion debt that's out there and hoping that they can rein some of that in.